Hello and welcome to one of the committee documents in our series of committee documents, Minutes of a Meeting. A minute, the minutes of a meeting is a committee document. At a meeting, the secretary takes notes that form the basis of the minutes. Minutes should be brief and give a clear and accurate record of proceedings and decisions taken at the meeting. Minutes follow the items listed on the agenda and should be factual and free from comment. Minutes are signed and dated by the chairperson upon completion and approval. Now we're going to examine the format used for preparing minutes in the fully block style. Use A4 paper. Set margins as follows. Top margin one and a half inches, right margin one inch, left margin one inch, bottom margin one inch. Type the heading in closed capitals or spaced capitals. Leave two clear lines of space or three single line spaces after the main heading. Type subheadings using side headings or shoulder headings. In this example, we are going to be using shoulder headings. Leave one clear line of space or two single line spaces after each subheading. After the last typing line, leave four clear lines of space or five single line spaces. Type the name of the chairperson. On the next line, type his or her position. Leave two clear lines of space or three single line spaces. Type the date. Type the word date and before on the line immediately before the date we may type a dotted line for the chairperson to insert the date of signing the minutes as in shown in this example. So let's have a look at the template for preparing the minutes. We remember that margins are set at the top margin one and a half inches, the bottom margin one inch, left margin one inch, right margin one inch. Click OK. The main heading, minutes of the meeting. In this case, minutes of the meeting is typed in spaced cups. That means there is a space after each letter there are three spaces between words one two three two clear lines of space are left after the main heading which equals three single line spaces we have information pertaining to the minutes minutes of the committee of Shoreland Traders, where is the meeting held, and the date on which the meeting was held. The next heading is present, which is the list of persons present at the meeting. And here we have Mr. John Lenton, the chairman. The list is always started with the chairman or chairperson. Miss Angela West, Mr. T. Benham, Miss Mr. P. Neams, who is the secretary. After the list of persons present, we leave one clear line of space, and then we begin with the topics dealt with in order of the agenda. Apologies for absence would be the first item on our agenda. We leave one clear line of space, type the information or details with regard to what transpired at the meeting with the regard to the apologies. Then the second item is the minutes of the last meeting would have been read. The minutes of the last meeting were read, approved and signed by the chairman. So if we go back to our format here where it says 
Leave the, type the word date for the chairperson to insert the date of signing the minutes. And where we look at details with regard to the minutes, minutes are signed and dated by the chairperson upon completion and approval. So this approval would be at the following meeting, minutes of the last meeting. Here we see the minutes of the last meeting were approved. So those minutes would now be signed by the chairman as indicated here. Matters arising at this current minutes, or mat sorry, matters arising from those previous minutes is the next item discussed. And at this particular meeting, they are discussing arrangements for the annual dinner and dance. And here we have some information with regard to the annual dinner and dance. And the meetings, the minutes states decisions taken here. Miss West announced that she had made an arrangements for a group to play. After a lengthy discussion, it was agreed. So this is an example of recording of the decision taken in the minutes. And it was agreed in this case to increase the price of a double ticket to $100. The last item on the minutes before we move to the date of the other meeting of the next meeting is any other business. Here, info items that are not listed on the agenda but that are pertinent or that are relevant or that need to be addressed are brought up by members present. In this example, the minutes of the meeting, typing of the minutes went on to a second page. When minutes of the meeting is longer than one page, the page number is indicated at the top of each subsequent pages. Each subsequent page, sorry. The date of the next meeting is the next item. The date of the next meeting was fixed in this case for May 15, 2020. After the typing line where the meeting is declared closed, we leave four clear lines of space, which is equal to five single line spaces for the chairperson's signature. The name and designation is typed and then according to the instructions we type the date, the word date. If we go back to our instructions for the format, we are going to see that we type the word date, however a dotted line may be typed for the chairperson to insert the date when signing the minute. As we can see in this example, a dotted line was left for the chairperson was typed so that the chairperson can sign the date when he signs the minutes he can insert the date here on which he signed the minutes. This, the minutes of this meeting were typed using shoulder headings. A shoulder heading is a heading that appears before a body of text. So here we have a shoulder heading and here we have the body of text. Here we have a shoulder heading, here we have the body of text. The rules for typing shoulder heading are 1. A clear line of space is left before and a clear line of space is left after a shoulder heading. Shoulder headings are always typed at the left margin. In this case, the shoulder heading present is typed at the left margin with one clear line of space before and one clear line of space after. In the other examples of shoulder headings, which refer to the topics dealt with in order of the agenda, the shoulder headings are enumerated. We have a number one, two, three. 
the number is typed at the left margin. Here we have one clear line of space left before, one clear line of space left after this shoulder heading. Apologies for absence. One clear line of space left before and one clear line of space left after the shoulder heading, minutes of the meeting, and so on. So now we've come to the end of our demonstration and presentation on minutes of the meeting and the proper format for typing this committee document. I wish you good luck when you are preparing minutes of the meeting and I'd like you to follow this format and template to ensure that you type minutes of the meeting in the correct way. Good luck to you all.